And now on to our dinosaur of the day, Diablo Ceratops, which was a request from Cole via Patreon. So thanks, Cole. The name means devil horned face, and it has two large horns coming out of its frill that are the devil horns. Yeah, they look pretty devil-y. They stick up and then kind of curve to the sides a little bit. Mm-hmm. It's a centrosaurian ceratopsian that lived in the Cretaceous in what is now Utah. Jim Kirkland and Donald DeBlue named Diabloceratops in 2010, and the type species is Diabloceratops eatoni. The species name is in honor of Jeffrey Eaton, a paleontologist and friend of Jim Kirkland. And Eaton specializes in mammals and has decided not to study dinosaurs, but instead to study fossils of mammalian species that lived alongside dinosaurs. So Kirkland reportedly got back at him by naming a dinosaur after him. <laughs> I'll enjoy that story. I'll show you mm-hmm. not studying dinosaurs. You will be associated with dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> The type specimen was found in 2002 by Don DeBlue at Last Chance Creek in the Waweep Formation in Utah. They found a partial skull with part of the lower jaw, and the skull was nicknamed the Last Chance Skull. Yeah, that's clever. Yeah. Two specimens potentially have been found, and the Last Chance Skull is about three feet or one meters long. It took more than 700 hours to prepare that skull. When Diablo Ceratops was discovered, it was the oldest known ceratopsid. The skull has an accessory skull opening, which was common in basal ceratopsians, but disappeared in later ceratopsians, which means that there was a skull opening that used to be in all ceratopsians. A second skull has been found that's similar to the last chance specimen, but it's not clear if they're the same species. So it may be Diabloceratops, it may be something else. Diabloceratops, the skull was deep and short, and it had long spikes on its frill, and it had this large neck frill, a small nasal horn, and it may have had a second horn in front of that. It also had small horns above its eyes, so it's well decorated. Yeah. And both specimens are at the Natural History Museum of Utah. It's really the museum to go to if you're interested in ceratopsians. Yes, for that wall alone. Yeah, it is awesome. I guess the Royal Tyrol Museum, too, also mm-hmm. has some cool, if you're into Pachy, Rhinosaurus, and things like that. Mm-hmm. So ceratopsians were ornithischians that lived in North America and Asia. They had beaks and cheek teeth to eat fibrous vegetation, and they also had a frill, which may have been used for defense, regulating body temperature, attracting mates, or signaling danger. They probably traveled in herds and could then stampede if threatened. I don't know about probably, but I'll give you that one. (laughs) (laughs) 